Hello XEFAM, I am so excited to talk to you guys about a lot of different stuff. The first one being uh, one of the children of uh, that XEBOT video that I made. I'm not sure if you remember, maybe watch that video. Um, I bought this guy here for 0.095 Ethereum and I thought it was a steal because he actually had really decent uh, Tiny Turtle with Kuko and uh, even though Goldfish and Nemo are not necessarily good skills in an exit like this one, he also had Thorny Caterpillar and Snail Shell in his R1. So I thought it was, you know, maybe a decent bet. And uh, one of the children that I was able to get is this beautiful boy over here. Uh, he actually has Goldfish, Tiny Turtle, Cuckoo, and Tiny Dino. So he's an amazing backliner because you have, first of all, the combination of Cuckoo and Tiny Dino. So you have the zero cost card that can increase the damage coming from Tiny Dino by an, an amazing... Um uh, an amazing number. Uh, these, like, only Kukun Tiny Dino, they cost one energy. You get 80 shield for that. And on top of that, you even have Goldfish. So, Goldfish allows you to be the first one attacking against, you know, other types of fish and maybe even birds, depending on how uh, you're able to cast your spells. And I just love this guy. Uh, I'm, I, want, I want to show it to you guys. So, this is, this is it. it there's only three. Uh, of this guy in the world and they have not been sold so uh, I'm in the process of rebreeding but not from this what I actually really enjoyed from uh, using my bot is that I don't have to necessarily breed um, like keep a farm because like in the past everyone thought that just like rebreeding stuff that you have with whatever it is that you have is is better so let's say like you're breeding this sort of uh, consistent build on A and B and uh, you end up with like 397% on this side and three like 91% on this side. So you cannot breed the 97% with each other. And uh, the 91s, like, what do you do? You really want to breed a 97 with a 91? Depending on the type of operation that you have, it's not a good idea. But with the bot, I'm able to just find amazing deals and uh, not have to like keep too much assets or net worth in the form of axes so like i can just buy these axes and uh, sell every single iteration uh, quickly i i really feel like that is a model that can work especially in a market that l is looking for like very specific types of axi i mean I, I digress this is the guy that i was able to breed and now i want to show to you guys the you know my next venture or adventure if you if you will so I'm gonna go here on the ladder board for Exizone, and uh, this is where my inspiration came th from, actually. This Gaps guy, he has two axes that I think are amazing. So you have, th this is a really, like, super meta combo, right? Grass Snakes with Toothless Bite and Garish. You also have Grass Snakes with Winghorn. In garage and I wanted to get either type of these actually the dusk ones are, are like in incredibly expensive so that was kind of out of the question for me uh, they're all way too expensive but I decided to try and make a, um, a reptile version of this guy so I want to show you guys uh, what the bot was able to to find so yeah this is the guy that I was able to find so he has 42 speed you know which is decent but he has perfect tiny turtle he has Garish form on DNR1. He also has Dresnix in R1 uh, and Serastas in DNR2. So he's like, he's not exactly what I want, right? Because uh, I want Tiny Turtle uh, Garish, but he is, you no, know, he has Tiny Turtle Garish pretty decently. And he is setting up for that Grass Snake in DR1, which is good. But you know, th the amazing part of this actually is how much I paid. For it. Our boy Bowie bot here, he's constantly uh, sending me all of these requests. So here I'm looking for, uh, you know, uh, Tiny Turtle, Lagging, Garish Worm, Torny Caterpillar. So pretty much uh, Terminator build, but it, it's constantly sending me Dusks and uh, telling me what the percentage of their genes is. Uh, here I have some Beasts, and it's just constantly sending me this stream 
of uh, just like amazing things and, and i think this is awesome this is how i was able to get this boy for 0 0.078 ethereum guys this is so cheap uh because like when you actually look at the average price of axes like this uh especially if i'm able to get the uh this build well, let me just show it to you guys um so let's go to marketplace and the build we want is actually garish warm with grass snakes, with um, wing horn and uh, tiny turtle, right? So the worst types, they cost 0 0.22 Ethereum. And uh, right now, if we go to chill Axie, let's say I breed, um, let's say I breed six uh, Axies, right? The price that you're gonna pay per Axie right now is about $295, okay? So by, by getting one of these guys, I'm pretty much paying for a third, more than a third actually, of everything that I bred. And that's not even counting the fact that I can sell the parents. And because I bought this guy for so cheap, it's very likely that after breeding, I can still sell him for like a decent amount of money. Like I could maybe sell it for the same price. Uh, and this is where you lose most of the money if you try to buy like those perfect 97% axes with uh, you know specific build. Uh, people that are breeding those, they don't like. Yeah, they can maybe sell it to you, but they they really want to make sure you're gonna lose a lot of money until it starts to become profitable for you because it is profitable for them and they're just breeding those builds all the time. Uh, and the guy that I found to breed this guy with is actually our top tier mid lane boy right there. Uh, I paid 0 0.239 Ethereum and, and you know, I'm so sad about this guys because uh, I'm gonna be honest. I found this guy when he was selling for 0 0.13 Ethereum. It was not selling for that. It was selling for like 0 0.18 at the time. And I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna go to bed. And uh, once I wake up, I will, <laughs> I, I will buy it if it's still for sale. But then this freaking Toki guy bought it and just ups, upsold it for me uh, for way, way more. But because I'm paying so little for this guy, I thought it was still a good deal. If we actually check this guy, he has Furball and Indian Star. So like, even if, like, let's say I don't get Indian Star. And obviously, uh, this guy that I want to breed, he doesn't have Indian Star. It's just that all of the skills like that, that I have in DNR1 are so good that I, I almost don't care. Uh, it also has perfect Resnicks and it has uh, Tiny Turtle and Lamb. So it's just gonna be like a lot of damage and it's also an Axie that will probably sell for a decent amount of money after I breed it. So let's let's actually check here and see um, if I can, if I can find something like this in the market probably want i think oh oh there you have it so this one is 0 0.5 but it's an aqua so this is going to be much more expensive than this guy but you know maybe i can sell this guy for a 0 02 and that would be like almost no loss uh while still actually making a decent amount of money and uh this is my plan so yeah basically i'm just going to show you two guys how much i make on this deal so uh, I have to go to breed and type it here. And now we might get an idea of uh, how much money I'm going to make. All right. So, I mean, <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. Uh, this bot is a little deceiving sometimes. So you can see that like the, the gains that it is predicting, they're kind of crazy. Um, and, and a part of that is some of the Axie probabilities that are showing up here, they are not necessarily common in the market. So if someone just prices it really high, um, you, you might just get an Axie, like you might get a value here that is a little bit crazy. But I know for a fact that because of the, the great value of all of the skills that I bought, I'm still gonna be able to make a lot of profit from this. This, this is more useful when you have more reliable builds and builds that are like, they have a lot of points in the market for the bot to compare. There's also the fact that sometimes you have a lot of these axes being sold. So, so uh, the bot is looking at the market and he finds this like five breeds, six breeds, seven breeds, and he has to 
find the price of a zero breed. I'm just saying that, like, I'm probably not going to make 600% out of these axes. I would love to, and I hope I do, but uh, this looks a little crazy. But if I'm getting 100%, I'm already going to be really happy, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sell those axes for a decent amount of money. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Now, I want to talk about the beta test. So, we had some people beta testing, and I think we actually uh, you know, actually advanced a decent amount in, in, in the vision that we have for this bot. And um, now I want to start working with an open beta. And the problem with the open beta is that I don't want to open this to everyone because the, the, the crux, the problem of this bot is that it uses API, and the API is not regulated by X-Infinity. So if for some chance some crazy guy just comes into our bot and starts like spamming uh commands non-stop uh he could fuck us big time because uh, rp can get banned uh th this can like delay the the release for everyone so we will have an open beta and if you want to be a part of it we will have a donation and it's gonna be a first come first serve sort of uh thing so we're going to be charging 0.01 Ethereum, and uh, I'll link the Ronin wallet in the description. Everyone that sends money will be on queue uh, to participate. And if we get too many people, I'll you know everyone that doesn't actually make it to the open beta will have the money refunded. And um, be aware that if we dislike the way that you're using, I mean, there's gonna be guidelines for using the bot, but if you feel like you're spamming it too much, the way we will charge is it's gonna be charged based on the commands that you're using. So some commands are gonna be more expensive than others because they use the API more. For now, this amount that we are uh, charging is, it, it, it kinda gives you buffet style here. You can do everything that you want but there will be limitations and if people don't really respect them we will just ban them uh, we will maybe give you one warning and you're gonna be banned and we will not give you your money back uh, in that case so yeah thank you all for watching i really appreciate you guys and that's about it